Hello, this is Vampire. Um, yeah, different location. I, I am on a bed. Um, all right, so just wanted to talk about a, a YouTube channel that I recently uh, started watching. Um, it's by a famous professional wrestler named uh, Masakatsu Funaki. So Mr. Funaki is, uh, even though he's a professional wrestler, and, and that was a lot of his training, uh, the thing is, in Japan, um, the professional wrestlers over there, many of them were trained by Carl Gotch. And who is Carl Gotch? Carl Gotch is a catch wrestling master. He's, he's already passed away, but he's an old school catch wrestling master. Catch wrestling is, uh, uh, should I call it the martial arts form of wrestling? It's, it's basically wrestling, but with uh, the moves that, that uh, is, is uh, illegal in sports. So it's designed to destroy a human being. Carl Gotch was apparently obsessed with just trying to figure out the quickest and easiest ways to kill a person with his bare hands. You know, So uh, Carl Gotch, is, is, his nickname is the god of pro wrestling over in Japan, and he taught a lot of the the Japanese professional wrestlers there so a lot of the catch wrestling stuff was passed on to many Japanese pro wrestlers and Funaki Mr. Funaki is one of those guys in um, in he was training in a professional wrestling school the the famous one was uh, UWF so he was training at the UWF camp under Mr. Fujiwara and Mr. Fujiwara would bring in Carl Gotch to, to teach there, and uh, Mr. Funaki said that he, he was a rookie at the time, and he said that the training was so hard that he, there were times where he just didn't want to go, that it was that bad, and uh, it, it was so brutal, and just just like non-stop sparring sessions, and these sparring sessions were, were just like an, an hour and a half of just torture, you know, and, and you'd have to go, you know, one person and then the next person and it would be like a marathon match and, and he, he was just talking about like how savage those were and, and you'd just be in pain the whole time um so anyway after that he broke off of the uwf and he wanted to start his own organization with other uh wrestlers that, that trained with him so so they were like yeah let's start our own organization and uh, when they were do when they were doing that, they were like, "What what should we name the organization?" And he had remembered an interview with with Carl Gotch, where Carl Gotch was saying that what we do is um, pancreation, that it, that pancreation is the it was a Greek martial art. It means all knowing because it combines the boxing and the wrestling together. So those were the three. Um, major combat sports maybe they had more but but those were the really famous ones it was boxing wrestling and then pancreation at, at the time so it's an ancient form of combat and uh, so that's what carl Gotch said that that this is pancreation so uh, mr funaki was like yeah yeah pancreation so i want to call my uh, organization pancras right so he he wanted to name that but he was like let me get permission so he sent the letter to Carl Gotch asking for permission, and Carl Gotch basically gave gave him uh, his blessing, and he said, Go, "Use the name." So that's how the name Pancras. And uh, for for those that don't know, that's where like Ken Shamrock, Frank Shamrock come from, Boss Rutten. You know, they they have a lot of their origins there at at Pancras. And uh, so it was a very successful organization, and it. The way Mr. Funaki said is he was kind of viewing it as a cross between professional wrestling and martial arts, that it was a hybrid of, of the two. And uh, so, so that was the idea that he was thinking. So in a way to say thank you to Carl Gotch, he was, after every event, he would send a videotape to, over to uh, Carl Gotch's home in the, in the United States, I believe, is where he was living. So he'd ship it to him. And, and get critiqued. And Carl Gotch basically had two major, major critiques about it. And number one was he said, um, stop using foreigners. 
so he meant like don't don't use Ken Shamrock and and whatnot. And I believe what he was talking about. This is just my own guess because he didn't go into detail about that. But I think what it was was the business aspect. Maybe something he learned in professional wrestling is like if you bring in foreigners rather than developing your own people there, that it's going to bite you in the end. So he's he's saying stop using foreigners, stop that. And then the other thing he said was. Uh, you guys are wrestlers. I trained you in catch wrestling. Why are you guys uh, punching and kicking using boxing and kickboxing techniques? Why? He And Carl Gotch said, when I fought boxers and kickboxers, I beat them using catch wrestling. I didn't beat them using boxing and, and kickboxing. I, I used catch wrestling. So that's what you guys should do. So uh, he was very, very, very strong opinion about that. And uh, Mr. Funaki was kind of like, he just opened this organization and a lot of the guys in his crew were guys grooming to become professional wrestlers, but they weren't a name yet. So they had to compete with UWF, uh, like Kingdom or, or other organizations that were kind of doing similar stuff where they were trying to head a little bit towards into more the martial arts and leave the sport entertainment behind. So it, it was uh, already a changing world in in uh, Japan as far as the the martial arts and professional wrestling went. They were they were heading in that direction, and Mr. Funaki had to compete with that, and to get his organization, you know, to to the public saying this is different from professional wrestling. I know you don't know any of us who we are. None of us are named, but please, you know, watch our stuff. How do you get to sell tickets and and uh, get your organization going when when nobody knows you like that? You know, so he came to the U.S. and and talked to Ken Shamrock and said, "Hey, help me start this organization. I want you to be a part of it." You know, so he kind of felt like without having foreigners, without um, mixing in the boxing and the kickboxing, if he just made it all catch wrestling, he thought it was very difficult to sell. So he couldn't do what Carl Gotch was saying. And so, you know, they kind of had a, a difference in opinion, and he said that they just kind of like stopped to stopped uh, corresponding, and and uh, he he was he said he was pretty sad about that, and and um, uh, after that, like he he no longer had direct connection with with uh, Carl Gotch, and then Carl Gotch passed away, and and he reflects upon some of the teachings that that Carl Gotch had. Uh, in, you know, instilled in him, and and he remembers like after a match, he he's you know coming back from the match, just had a brutal fight, and Carl Gotch is is uh, is backstage, and Carl Gotch tell I guess he was working the corner for him or something, and and Carl Gotch was like, okay, uh, when are you gonna train next? And Mr. Funaki's like, uh, I just had a match, so I I want to rest a little bit, and Carl Gotch is like, okay, but when are you gonna get back into training tomorrow? And, and Mr. Funaki's like, uh, <laughs> you know, but Carl Gotch was adamant about that. He was like, train. If you're a professional, you know, you need to train every day. It's it's like a, a, a knife or a sword that, that if you're a professional with your tool, you sharpen your tool all the time, every day, constantly. It's in pristine condition. It's ready to go to be used every day. So if you're a wrestler, then your body is your tool therefore your body needs to be in pristine condition and and so he remembers that and then he remembers back in the day when uh, Carl Gotch came into the dojo and uh, he was like 79 years old and he started working out with the other wrestlers and he pulled off 2000 Hindu squats right there 79 year old man doing you know, 2,000 Hindu squats. So he was like, man, if, if I could do that at, at his, I'd like to be able to do that at his age. So so Mr. Funaki said that he wanted to go to uh, Carl Gotch's grave and uh, pay his respects. And, and he was just reflecting upon the, the beautiful experience that he had from the catch wrestling master himself, Carl Gotch. So uh, listening to this uh, just vlog, it, it was very inspiring for me. I mean, I look back on my martial arts experiences, obviously nowhere near the caliber of Mr. Funaki or nowhere near world impact like he has had, but 
you know, I do have some experiences and, and it does make me reflect on my own and also the importance of respecting those who have passed away, you know, that, that this is what it means to go visit the grave and, and, uh, and send your, your respects in, in that sense and, and apply it to yourself to, to live it, you know, the lessons that you learn from, from the person. So uh, anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was a gold mine and I thought it was great stuff. So just wanted to talk about that. Thank you for listening and take care, folks.